Welcome to part 2 of lecture 3 of Aerospace Propulsion. So we left off by thinking about why bell-shaped nozzles are a very common design. So let's start by thinking about some of the advantages that these nozzles have. So structurally, basically all the real stresses on the structure are tangential hoop stresses. These are relatively easy to design for. Uh, hopefully you remember this from thinking about pressure vessels and stress analysis. So this makes for a relatively light nozzle. And on the heat transfer front, you're basically dealing with a simple thin walled structure. Um, and that is generally going to allow for sufficient cooling with no special considerations required to, to ensure, uh, assure that cooling. So that also helps make the system simple and light. Also, it makes it really easy to match the nozzle to the combustion chamber, right? The, the most natural combustion chamber design is a cylinder, so you can just simply attach your, your bell nozzle uh, to that. So those are some of the big advantages. Um, but there are some disadvantages too, and this should be clear from our discussion in lecture two. The fixed geometry uh, and shape of these nozzles means that the design can only produce the maximum possible thrust at a single value of back pressure or atmospheric pressure. Right, we can have both overexpanded um, or underexpanded nozzles, and if it's over the nozzle is overexpanded, we can experience separation in the nozzle, uh, like we talked about last time. Um, and the most significant problems from this uh, sort of single point matching is thrust loss due to overexpansion uh, and flow instability uh, when we have highly separated flow, which means that the direction of the thrust is not necessarily in the sort of mean flow direction. In fact, the direction of thrust can vary with time. And this could obviously lead to highly unstable rocket flight um, and is, is highly undesirable. So how might we address these disadvantages? So what are some design changes or alternate types of nozzles that you could consider to address these problems with these common bell-shaped nozzles? Again, think about this for a few minutes. Try to come up with an answer for yourself before you move on to the next part of the video.